CoolersOnSale.com here for a review and walkthrough of a Wi-Fi thermometer. You've seen us use these thermometers in the last four or five videos, and they've been paramount for giving us internal temperature of not only coolers, but ice pack. But really, these thermometers can be used in multiple places, right? Deep freezers, refrigerator, primary residence, secondary residence, like an Airbnb or a vacation rental, that you want to track not only temperature, but humidity. And I know for us, one of our best friends, Avid Hunter and Fisher, He's also very cheap like myself and buys his deep freezers off of Facebook Marketplace because he gets a deal. But in the last five years, he's lost three of those deep freezers. And when you're one, running 100 miles offshore like we do for American Reds, that becomes a very expensive mistake when you lose a deep freezer and you don't know about it. So at the end of the day, for 50 or 100 bucks, a wireless Wi-Fi thermometer is a very cheap insurance policy to make sure that you're not losing your meat. At least you're getting uh, some visibility into your deep freezer. I know it's not something that people think about all the time, but it's one of those things that when it happens, bam, there it goes, right? There goes all your wild game, your uh, fish, your deer meat, whatever it is, and you don't know about it. So next thing you know, you come and all, all the all the internal goodies are spoiled at that point. So again, a relatively cheap insurance policy to have it send you a notification. You can set different notifications for different thresholds of temperature as well as humidity right to your phone. I'll try to splice that in so you get an idea of what that looks like. I mean, it literally pops up and says, hey, uh, your deep freezer is now at negative five, negative 10, whatever it is, or it's above uh, whatever temperature you're looking for. You can also log temperatures on these, right? You can export the data. In our last video, you probably saw us actually match that data up because we were trying to determine if block ice, uh, cubed ice or ice packs was better. And you, we really needed to look at the data, the data points to match those all up. Now, at the end of the day, I don't think very many of you, many of you guys at home are going to be doing that. But if for some reason you want to track data, you can export that into an Excel format. Uh, there's multiple different formats that you can you can export that data if uh, if you're like us and you want to you want to take a look at that. At the end of the day, I think what most people are going to use this for is again a cheap insurance policy to track uh, whether it's a primary, secondary residence, a deep freezer, refrigerator, whatever the case might be, is where you're trying to track humidity as well as uh, temperature. As you can see here in front of me, this uh, thermometer has magnets on the back. It's sticking to the back of the golf cart right now. So you can stick this to the inside of a freezer or we stuck it to the inside of a wire basket on one of the coolers. So you have magnets on the on the back side. This is a little bit of a, a case. So you can see obviously magnets on this side. This is relatively straightforward, guys. There's literally only one button on here. And then as you can see on the inside, uh, three AA batteries is what's powering this. You do have a power source here at the bottom if you want dedicated power. We've chosen to use uh, three AA batteries. They've lasted uh, plenty long enough for us. One of the top things that I would say I want to call out because it wasn't uh, overly clear to me from the start is you can change what they call the acquisition cycle as well as the frequency at which it uploads to the cloud, right? So the more frequent that you're uploading data, the faster you're going to chew through battery. So keep that in mind. If you're really doing this just to keep an eye on a deep freezer, probably once every couple hours is sufficient. In our case, the lowest that you can go is every 15 minutes. We wanted that data every 15 minutes because obviously we were running cooler tests and we wanted to, to track that out. But at the end of the day, if you set this to send every couple hours, the, the battery life in my opinion, um, lasts very well. Uh, I guess one caveat I should call out because we ran into this issue as well is these are not waterproof, right? So if you're putting this in a cooler where you're going to have ice melt, just keep an eye on that, that it's not going to drop down into the water. If you are going to be in an area where there is liquid, uh, throw it in a Ziploc bag. That's what we did in one of our tests, threw it in a Ziploc bag, threw it in the cooler, and we had no issue. Obviously, you're not going to get the correct reading for humidity, but the no issue on temperature read uh, just fine. You do also have the option to add a double-sided foam tape to the back side of this, right? So if you wanted, uh, you didn't have a use case for the magnets, you could always uh, use the double-sided tape to uh, stick it where you want. I'll try to splice in some of the details of what the app looks like because you do have a couple different features you can change. But at the end of the day, guys, it is relatively straightforward. You push the button, you add a sensor to the app. It is super easy. As long as you have Wi-Fi in the vicinity, then you can add this thermometer to your app. And you see, in our case, we had uh, at one time six 
thermometers running at the same time. I don't think most people are going to do that. But the point is you can have one centralized location to run all of your thermometers and get all of your data into one spot. As long as there's Wi-Fi, you can tap into that. I will say one of the top questions I saw online, especially on some of the Amazon reviews, is will it go through a freezer door? In our case, we put this in our deep freezer, which is in the garage. Now, to be fair, I do have a mesh network in the house, so we do have a... a a Wi-Fi point in the garage, but we had no issue going through both our deep freezer door as well as a refrigerator door. And of course, you saw us running all of the different tests out front where we had the thermometers in the cooler and were probably, I would say, 35 feet from our Wi-Fi point in the garage. But if you have one single Wi-Fi point in the house, just be cognizant of that. When you set it up, you'll see it's going to pick it up or it's not. You either need to move closer, or maybe uh, adjust the network. So all in all, I can't speak highly enough of a relatively cheap insurance policy to have this for your deep freezer. In our case, obviously, we're doing uh, way different stuff with this of uh, tracking internal temperatures. I hope this video has been helpful, guys. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It's what helps us to keep going. And we'll be back next time with another video review.